Hi guys, so um, today I decided to try to paint the iguana uh, as uh, you saw in my uh, shot in my uh, short video that I have this little guy actually it's not little it's big pretty big guy it's on my tree next to my window and there is another one uh, smaller right there so I decided to create uh, I already had the canvas done here um, I was thinking to paint something else I I did like the cloudy kind of background and I stopped so I'm thinking it's it's uh, not a bad idea to have the iguana right there and then when I can improve the, the background for it. So right now I'm going to use my burnt sienna and let's give it a, a little wash. So I, as you see, I already sketched uh, the iguana right there. I'm using the reference picture. Uh, it's uh, not the same. I didn't take the picture today. I just did the, the video of iguana and I was thinking uh, that's a cool idea to have it painted and uh, so I can also learn the iguana's uh, structure I never painted this one so uh, let me see so I I using the reference picture from the web and it looks uh, exactly the one that um, not exactly but I mean very close to the one that I saw in the tree and uh, right now I'm going to put the layer of burnt sienna all over my uh, drawing and the burnt sienna color is pretty uh, transparent so it's good to have the basic layer the first layer of burnt sienna where you can still see your uh, drawing peeking through and it's it's pretty convenient it is pretty convenient so i'm just loosely uh, putting my color and i did draw over the blue here i was thinking um, it's gonna be probably some kind of stone structure maybe uh, iguana um, sitting on the like mountain or something like the stone so eventually i will change the color of it to be like grayish and i wanted to keep the cloudy um, kind of feeling behind it we'll see um, just hope i will not change it to black since I, I love my uh, black background so it might happen I'm not promising uh, it's not gonna happen but so far I think I'm okay with this kind of background and uh, we'll see how this little guy goes so we'll find out if we can change the background or we can keep it so I want to cover everything with burnt sienna, even the little spikes. Okay, let's see, I forgot to bring my napkin. I forgot the napkin, yes, right there. So I, it's useful to have a paper towel so you can uh, take away the over, over water and with this burnt sienna i want to add uh, little layers again to redistribute this uh, lines i think uh, it's also useful to kind of have those lines over and this is the mouth and uh, 
the mouth goes as if you look at the pictures it's it's almost like alligator kind of thing and also what i have to uh, figure out is how to do the scales because uh this iguanas uh the the skin is very uh, it has those scales uh, and I'm not sure uh, how I can uh, print, it, print it to the painting. Uh, you can, uh, I guess we can do it a hard way, painting each scale, or maybe we can do it some kind of, uh, we can come up with some kind of trick to make those scales uh, easier and faster and maybe maybe even looking more natural so i want to have the, the almost like the tracing shape of it um, because uh since i'm going to put more colors one on top of each other i uh, really I really will not have this uh, uh, line and this is a uh, raw uh, this is a burn sienna which is cool and see don't uh, care for the this is my um, everything when I started to do the the sketch I kind of erased some uh, pencil lines here and there I did them uh, over so in this case I wouldn't worry about it because as I said the background would definitely it will change because I will reinforce the clouds make them more uh, cloudy uh, make them more prominent and uh, this ground I want to make it uh, gray color uh proper gray purplish color so because uh, i don't want it to blend with the iguana itself and here it will be the hand and i was questioning should i bring the hand over or should i keep it behind uh, the rock structure i for now i will keep it behind i don't want to waste time on painting the hand and uh, well, you can always decide say i still have little shadow of it here and there so i will think uh, later on the deciding if i can uh, bring the hand to the picture or keep it behind the rock which either way depends on the uh, on the how uh, your uh, image will go and uh, so far I just have the the, the, the figure which is uh, I don't know if, if the figure is proper enough but uh, maybe we need to add something uh, like interesting like like some addition to the story behind it um, because I always want to tell uh, at least I'm aiming to uh, my painting to tell some kind of a uh, story and uh, let's see i forgot about those little spikes and uh iguanas here uh, are pretty invasive species and they are everywhere um uh, and they are not dangerous or anything uh, but they uh just uh, multiply a lot and uh, you can see them almost everywhere on the parking lot uh, next to people houses uh, you know they like water and stuff so they also like to sit somewhere next to some rivers or so and uh, I feed one of them before it bite me but uh, accidentally because I, I don't think they uh, they have very sharp teeth and uh, you have to be careful if you really wanna one day to feed iguana 
just be careful it's not it's it's not hard white or anything the chin like it bleed a little bit but nothing major didn't left any marks when it's healed so it's okay um also i was thinking if i should do uh because i i was speeding up my uh, videos and uh, in this one i really want to have it almost like the life but um i'm not sure uh, uh if i should keep doing the the videos just the videos of anything that you know that i'm painting or if you guys if you uh like the live uh, sessions i was thinking to do one but i'm not sure of what time uh, for me it's usually this uh th somewhere end of the day for eastern u.s time somewhere around like six or seven is very convenient to do live but uh seems like people uh, uh you know doing something else during those times so i'm not really sure if it's you know worth it uh, to do like live at this time also i it's i think it's fun maybe to do live at, at night but not also not sure but uh, i like the lives that i did i i like that uh, so um, please if you can just uh, let me know if you like to for me to do lives or just keep uh, doing whatever I'm doing just uh, publishing the, the videos like that uh, which is also cool uh, I can do them on my convenience too so this is uh, how uh, I trace this and I also another thing um, another thing in um, this particular video I'm using different uh, form uh, more uh, not the recent recent but like a, I think it's 11 uh, iPhone so uh, the, the video quality should be better than the previous ones so hopefully uh, if it's I, I have to check I did uh, try it already yesterday it it's uh, give me 1020 so it's pretty good quality so I think uh, I will continue doing the better quality videos um, in with uh, different uh, iPhone um, I'm still considering if I should even upgrade to the latest uh, phone for the which has like three cameras and stuff but I'm, I'm not sure about it yet um, it's pretty expensive too so um, I'm still considering if this is enough and I can just wait another year or so before I got upgraded okay so yeah so basically this is all the underpainting I'm doing with my burn sienna and with layering you can see the the shades the darkening shades right there so um the thing is, um, since uh, this iguana, this uh, round finish that she has, I'm not sure what it is, but we have to look it up, right? So they're supposed to be lighter, and this in between fin supposed to be darker. So what I'm, I'm going to do now, I'm going to use burnt umber, and it's darker than burnt sienna i try to do um like shadows because those i have to whiten them up with with um, with uh, 
white color and I don't want to uh, push uh, on harder colors as of now uh, Murzik says hi uh, that's his time uh, almost his time to go out check on those iguanas and so he's really pretty excited he cannot wait he's always he's always asking at this time to go out <laughs>